Hello everyone, Spotted Tell 2017 here, and welcome to my first ever reaction video on this channel. I'm really excited about it because I am going to be reacting to Friendship is Tragic 2, A Tale of Two Princesses, Episode 10, Rotations of the Moon. I am really excited about this because one of my dear friends, uh, Galactic Tempo, aka Maya Wolf, is playing a character in this, and I am so excited for her. So without further ado, let's get started with this reaction. Warning. The following video contains scenes of graphic violence. Viewer discretion is advised. Yeah, that goes for you guys too. For you guys watching this reaction. So if you're not comfortable with any of that stuff, then don't then don't watch this, okay? Flies from the north to the sea. Oh, I've always loved this intro, it's so pretty. The dragon whispers her name in the east. It sounds like um Scribbler herself singing this, which is really cool. Because I think it is just Scribbler singing this. I'm not sure. I don't remember. seeing some of these guard ponies because I don't think I've seen some of them before. You're here on my computer. Um, because I'm watching this on a computer first and then going back and uh getting the screen recording from my uh come from my iPad. Oh. Oh yeah, Spike's in his hibernation right now.
Oh my goodness. That's a big hoard. <clears throat> Diamonds, a hat, some glasses, a ribbon. Is that a whole rug? Is that a whole rug in there? I don't know if you can hear me, Spike, but Twilight is awake. She finally came out of her coma. I thought... I thought you should know. Wow, Muse is a good cadence. I forgot how good of a cadence she can do. They can do. <sighs> Why am I even bothering you with this? Dragons can't hear a damn thing while in their hundred years sleep. <laughs> then again, you always were more pony than dragon, weren't you? Are you going to go sleep with him? Oh, you're trying to wake him up. Why? Why are you trying to do that? You're going to anger him more than you're going to... Come on, Spike! Wake up! You have to wake up! Twilight needs you! She needs you, Spike! More than any of the rest of us! She needs you! She needs you! You're her family! We're all she has left! She knows about Nightlight, and Twilight Velvet, and Auntie Celestia, and Shining! Hmm. She knows about Shining Armor, but not the truth. She knows he died, but not the truth about how. Oh, yeah. He perished heroically, fighting against the Diomedes invasion, and your parents were unfortunate victims of the attack. Twilight believes the same as everyone else. She's his sister, and all she has is the same lie as everyone else. Like she's... like she's nothing special. Oh. She doesn't know, Spike. She doesn't know what really happened to her mom or her dad. But I do. In all the world, only three ponies know the truth. And one of them is the pony who murdered them. And it's... it's killing me inside. More and more every day. I can't tell Raven because she's already got so much on her plate. She stressed all the Tartarus, just keeping things running behind the scenes here in the equestrian court. And oh I can't goodness. tell Luna because... Because... She's the one who did it. <laughs> oh it's not God. only Twilight who needs you right now, Spike. I do too. I need... Someone. Someone who knew them. Him. As more than just a name on a memorial plaque. Someone I can be honest with about. About how I feel. About what's going on in my head. I'm so scared, Spike. Sometimes I wish that I died too. And then I get so angry with myself because the crystal ponies need me. Or I wish Luna had died. Except that me and I would have been the only alicorn left to rule Equestria. And Sombra would have come back and taken control of the Crystal Empire without opposition. And who knows yeah, how true. that would have ended. Maybe Equestria and the Empire would be at war right now. And Probably. what about Diomedes? I hate what Luna did to that country, but... But also... I don't. The citizens Oof, there were following what their queens good. told them to do. Can I blame them for that? And the ones still inside their borders who didn't participate in the invasion never actually harmed any pony. But Luna still killed them all. And... And I hate that part of me is glad she didn't. How can I possibly approve a mass genocide like that? What kind of pony does that make me? How can I possibly lead the Crystal Ponies into a good future if I don't even know whether I'm a good pony? What would I have done in her position? Would I have killed them all too? I don't know. And if I would have done the same, then I'm no better than her. But I still hate her so much. She took Shiny from me. She stole the life I was supposed to have with him. We wanted kids. We talked about it a lot. He was so excited about being a dad someday. But we never got the chance. Because of her. And them. She and Diomedes both. Oh no! But she took care of Diomedes, which I hated. So how can I hate her for that? But I still do. Oh, no. I still hate her so much. Flurryheart's not alive in this. Like she was on, never, just, she was never created. Can't. 
I can't stop hating her. I can't. Oh my god. And it's it's tearing me up inside and I can't talk to anyone about it. of how much you needed me to be here with you. I should have acknowledged your pain instead of only my own. It's true that the Crystal Ponies needed me, but you needed me too. Can I let you down? You made the decision to accept this horde and go to sleep, and I wasn't here to talk you out of it or offer any alternative. Maybe someday, when you awake, we can talk, and I can apologize properly. <laughs> This Alicorn longevity will finally be useful for something. <laughs> I feel your cadence. Wow. <sighs> Sweet dreams, Spike. <sighs> Maybe Luna finally broke that anti-dreamwalking vow of hers and made sure you have a nice one. <sighs> Ugh. I can't let the court pony see me like this. Being a princess is so much more work than it used to be. I mean, I also... Oh, she just teleported. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I was like, you're also the queen of an entire empire. Of course, it's going to be more work for you. You're ruling solely by yourself, too. Oh, hi, Luna. Oh, is she gonna talk to him now, too? That hair is gorgeous. Just the sparkle. Oh, I just talked to my microphone. But the sparkles are so... The sparkles are so gorgeous. Oh, here comes more crying. I truly wish I could take away your burdens and let you have the life you were supposed to have, Cadence. Oh, she listened to that a whole conversation. Wow. Excuse me. She was listening. That art of Spike is actually is really good. A big old dragon. Sleepy dragon with no wings. Voices. Glamour spell, glamour spell, glamour spell. Pokey Pierce! Double Diamond! Oh my gosh, it's been so long! Hello, oh. your highness! <laughs> Princess Luna poses as your guards. She thought you oh, might no. like having some familiar faces around. Oh, oh. Luna <laughs> said that? <laughs> Look at it, double yes, Diamond! She thought you may appreciate guards you know while all this upheaval with Twilight Sparkles going on. 
Though she did say we were to keep the news of her awakening classified until given the all clear. Not hard, since most ponies don't even know she's alive at all. Well, regardless, it's good to see you. How have you been? I see you're both wearing the upgraded guard armor. The fangs took some getting used to at first, but oh, the it's bat really pony. cool to have all this enhanced strength and agility. That's I wanted cool. to take my armor with me to the slopes on my last vacation to test out how cool it would make me on skis. Hmm? But we're not allowed to take it out of the castle unless we're specifically on a mission. They look so cute the with the little really had conniptions oh my God, when I even so... asked. No squeeze. is the guard captain these days? I don't think you know her, ma'am. Unless the name Tempest Shadow means anything to you. Oh! No, it doesn't. She was abroad on some kind of soul-searching spirit journey thing when Diomedes attacked, so she only heard about it long afterwards. Apparently, it sparked off her homesickness and she came back to Equestria to join the Royal Guard during the big recruitment drive so she could help rebuild. You were already in the Crystal Empire by then. She broke her horn tangling with an Ursa Miner as a kid, but the magic in the upgraded armor restores the broken half and stabilizes her wild magic as long as she's wearing it. No, she has a full the horn Royal too? Guard is like... Her oh life. my gosh! I never see her not wearing her armor, and she never leaves the capital. Oh, well. She's tough as nails, ma'am. And harsh is being struck through with nails, Ooh, too. I want to see her so you bad. Never, who, ever who voices have a her? Polished kid or an untidy bed when she doesn't special. Are we going to see her? her? How long and if were you so, I want to know after that. <sighs> Three weeks. Don't get us wrong, ma'am. She's excellent at the job. She's no Captain Shining Armor, but she's a brilliant tactician and works us real hard because she wants us to be able to defend ourselves and survive if anything like the invasion ever happens again. Exactly. That's... good. <laughs> uh, we can stop talking about her if you'd prefer, <laughs> No, no, it's fine. My I'm girl sorry. Tempest. She sounds like the perfect pony for the job. Oh, Would yeah, she like is. Would you like to come in and, I don't know, she's have a, a cup of tea or her? something? We're not allowed to leave our oh, posts, well, I'm afraid, ma'am. Your posts outside my room? Our posts are wherever you I'm are, happy your that highness. She... So if I was to go down to the dining hall and, say, have a meal, you'd be forced to follow me? Yes, ma'am. Oh. Are you allowed to eat clever. on duty? Clever. Not really, ma'am. Even if it's a royal order? Well, if it's a royal order, that is another matter entirely. Hmm? Would that royal order stretch to having snow cones sent up from the kitchen uh, with Ooh. strawberry grenadine? Ooh. I'm sure it absolutely could. Oh, well awesome. then, we live to serve, ma'am. Wait, why are their shoes so tiny? Did you just see that? Their shoes are like extremely tiny. That's so funny, but I, I love it. Their hooves look like little blobs. familiar beeping sounds. Oh, hello. I've come to relieve you. R relieve me? You need rest too, Princess Luna. I am not tired by my vigil here. Watching over Twilight Sparkle is hardly an arduous task. Mental exhaustion is just as potentially debilitating if we let it get too far, your highness. It is my medical opinion that you should get some rest and let Princess Cadence take over here. Go get some sleep, Luna. I'll send word if anything happens. <laughs> Don't you think I can be trusted to watch over her? No, uh, I mean, not that. <laughs> Clearly you are incredibly trustworthy. I am simply <laughs> That sounded hesitant. very sarcastic. I have waited so long for her to awaken, and that part of me is convinced if I do not stay to watch it happen, she may not do it again. Uh. It makes no sense, I know. But there it is. I am concerned. No, I am scared yeah. that this may all be an illusion and she is not really here with us, safe and alive. Oh. I... Uh, I promise I'll send word if anything happens. Scout Derby Hooves. What? 
Scout Derby Hooves is the fastest messenger in the entire Royal Guard. Nice. I was just going to use a direct communication spell like Shining taught me. Uh, oh, yes, that uh, would be more convenient, wouldn't it? We have not used those in quite some time. Uh, uh, the method was of his own invention and was still in infancy when... Uh, when... Oh, I'm not even finishing that sentence. Wow. But we, I mean, we all I know what you're talking I can teach it to Captain about. Tempest Shadow, if you'd like. You know of Captain Tempest Shadow? The two guards you posted at my door told me about her. She sounds... She sounds like a pretty great captain of the guard. She oh, is, yes. indeed, oh, yes, quite she dedicated is. and a talented mare in many ways. I'm sure Shining would be. I love this alternate. I love this alternate. It's. I love this alternate for her. Oh my gosh. Thank you, Cadence. I know how difficult that must have been for you to say. Don't make more of it than it is. <laughs> now get some rest, Luna. You have ponies relying on you. You can't uh, afford to take risks with second. your health from I gotta exhaustion. Pause this. Uh, my lights just turned off. Okay, there we go. I'm back. <sighs> 2043. Oh my gosh. Alright, let's continue. Yes, indeed. You are quite correct. I need to run a few checks on her, your highness. Would you mind stepping back for a moment while I set up this privacy screen? It only took a short while. Oh, I mean, all right. Is everything okay? Just some routine things for recovering coma patients. Your sister-in-law has been unconscious for a very long time. Yes, I am aware of that. Kids? I'll be right over here, Twilight. Don't you worry. Actually... Could you wait outside? Outside? In the corridor, please. Oh. I... Oh. Um... Okay then. I'll be right outside. Thank you. Huh. Oh, wow. She doesn't want her around. I know why, too. Because in the previous episode, she was like... I think I, I think it was her... Wait, wait. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm not doing anything invasive for you to be embarrassed about. It's not that. It's... It's just... Just what? Do you have something to tell me that you don't want Princess Cadence to hear? Have you developed any new pains, or... Any of the abnormalities we talked about last time I saw you? No, n nothing like that. I just, I just don't want to see Cadence right now. You don't? No, she, she, I, I can't tell her to her face, but I can hardly stand to look at her. You had my brother tied. <gasps> Oh, Miss Sparkle, we both know that's not what happened. Not on purpose, I know, but... But... She's an alicorn. She has all that power. And she was right there while <gasps> Luna was fighting the Diomedes queens and their horses. Yet my brother and my parents still died? Why couldn't she save them with all that alicorn magic she has? 
Oh. Why did they die? Why couldn't she? Why couldn't? Why couldn't she save them? Miss Sparkle, you need to calm down. Getting worked up like this isn't advisable in your current condition. Said why? I was gonna say it, but. Oh, yeah. That hurt. That would hurt. Glamour spell, glamour spell, glamour spell, glamour spell. Keep it together, Cadence. Keep it together. She doesn't know you can hear her. Keep it together. All done? Yes, you can come back now, Your Highness. Wonderful! What is this ad? Okay. <laughs> no! I need to- Okay, there we go, I skipped it. Go sleep. Okay, never mind. Go scream into a pillow. Why? Why? Why are you screaming into a pillow? Why are you- Okay, what are you doing? I think this is Urban Ghoul's artwork. It looks so cool. Sister! It is Urban Ghoul! How did you do this for so long? You kept Equestria safe and prosperous for a thousand years while I am barely coping after only four. It is so much harder than it was a thousand years ago. I lack your flexibility, your quiet strength. The world has changed so much, and I am unsure whether I am even capable of changing enough to fit into it. Did you ever feel this way? So soft and helpless? I am so, so sorry I fell into darkness and left you all alone for so long. I thought only of my own pain and hatred when I became Nightmare Moon. I did not even think of what it would do to you beyond the I satisfaction I, I might feel I at becoming the more beloved one of us by our subjects. No, our ponies. It is... It is torture to be here without you. <sighs> I wish I could look up at the moon and see your face in it as you saw mine. At least you had the hope I would someday return and become myself again. I have no such hope. You are... You are truly gone. Gone forever. You're never coming back to me, Celestia, and I... I miss you... so much. Every second of every day, I miss you. I miss your laugh. I miss your tricks that you played on me. I miss your gentleness and your perpetual calm. I even miss you patronizing me about which fork to use at dinner and telling me the night must remain its scheduled length. I would happily let all ponies sleep through my nights and never ever appreciate my stars. If only it meant I could have you back, my sister. 
the other half of my soul. <laughs> 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 no, I love you more. 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 I think no, that's my friend right I now. love you more. The no, I love you more. Uh, no, I love you more. No, I love you more. That sounds like her. <laughs> this is getting silly. Is that you declaring defeat? Do I get a consolation kiss if I do? Maybe. Then I accept your terms of surrender. So you admit I love you more? I admit I love your kisses. Oh, there you go. <laughs> oh, idiot. I am an idiot for you and your kisses. Are you sure you're not under one of Princess Cadence's love spells? Uh, as if. My heart is unnaturally for you. Now, about that kiss. Mm. Oh, okay. <laughs> 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 Idiot. Okay, that's cute. <sighs> Celestia, what were you thinking when you ascended Cadence? I do not see what you saw in her when you made her an alicorn. Perhaps you would have been able to explain your thinking to me on why you chose such a mare to be a princess alongside us. She is so soft-hearted and yet so sharp-edged, so consumed by her loves, yet stubborn in her hatred. In truth, I, I do deserve that hatred, but it is killing her. Her soft heart cannot withstand being putrefied by harboring such potent hate for so long. That's fair. I fear Any what it will mean for her if she cannot be able let to go of that. that hate. Yet, it is impossible for me, of all ponies, to make that happen. Whenever I try to speak to her, she just ends up hating me more. I cannot halt the hatred in her heart myself, and yet, for her own sake, for the sake of all ponies under her care, it must be quelled. Yeah. Perhaps you could have talked her out of this self-destructive path if you had been here. <sighs> I wish I knew what to do. I wish I had your clarity and compassion. Or at least could ask you for your advice. And... <laughs> Have you reply? I cannot be you, Celestia. I cannot fathom the things you fathomed. I cannot make the decisions that came so naturally to you. But I can care for your student in your absence. I know how much Twilight Sparkle meant to you and you to her. It is my fault she was hurt. It was my fault you were killed. Had I but known what my overprotectiveness would have wrought, I would never have meddled in her. Your death was perhaps not inevitable if I had just left Twilight Sparkle's mind alone and not gone into her dreams. I call her friend, but I did not treat her as one should treat a friend. I have not been able to bring myself to Dreamwalk since that day. My meddling cost all of Equestria so dearly. It cost me, you, dear 
sister. It cost me you. It cost me you. And I shall never be able to forgive myself for that. Oh, wow. Not ever. Not ever. Regrets do not help anyone. I know. Actions help. And I shall take all the actions I can to help Twilight Sparkle heal and find her own place in this lonely new world without you or her family in it. And that much I can promise you. Yeah, that Celestia. fade was awesome. I am so sorry, my beloved sister. I hope that wherever your spirit is now, you can hear me and know this. Oh, is that little thing supposed to be Celestia? Oh, wow, there's more? There's gonna be more? Wow. This thing's already almost 10 up. This thing's already 10 episodes long. There's gonna be more? That's crazy. Something that's this big right now is insane, especially when a scribbler's thing. Like, that's insane. I think one of my other friends. That's who. I think that's who it was. But one of my other friends got into episode four. And I think she worked for a scrib worked in with Scribbler for episode four.
goodness, Violet! Oh my gosh, Violet Galaxy Shiver. I know her too. Well, I don't really know her. I auditioned for one of her... I was... Wait. Yes, I was gonna audition for one of her works. I really liked it. I was like... not continued for the final time either, so you know there's going to be at least one more episode up after that. Like, that's crazy. We're still going with this story. I'm loving it though. Okay. Okay. So that was, uh, that was episode 10 of Friendship is Tragic 2, A Tale of Two Princesses. What in the world? This is... <laughs> that was really good. I don't really have a lot of words. I love what they're doing with the whole story. I like, just in general. I love the artwork. I love the voice acting. I, lo I love that my friend got to be in this. I got so excited when I... Yep, I was like, that's gotta be her. <laughs> That is so cool. Even like just a little voice in something this big, like that, that's awesome. Like how many views does it have when it's only been like a week since it's been out? It was out nine days, it came out nine days ago and it has like 17,000 views. Yep, her stuff's in the, her stuff's in the comments. Why is her link not working? Her link's not working. No, I don't want to watch it again. Her link's not working. Them talking about, like, the loss and the guilt and the regret that they hold honestly hammers home. It's... Ooh. It's something alright. There's gonna be a lot more to come. I've got a whole playlist up on my channel of episodes that my friends are in that that, fr that my friends are in and that um my most I think all of these are from are either made by people that I know or they have like my friends are in them. Which, I mean, I'm excited to watch some of these. And I have, it's public, I have it up on my, up on my channel. I'll react, I wanted to react to that one because that one just come out and I've been following that series for a while. But I will work my way down the list. So up next is the True Chosen one episode, I'll probably do episode one. Thanks for tuning in with me and watching this reaction video. If you want to see more, this is mainly what I'm going to be doing while I am working on my audio drama, Strings of Fate, so that I am still getting content out to you guys while I am busy drawing, not just for my audio drama, but for Fawn's audio drama, The Generation of Harmony. Uh, with, uh, further, without further ado, uh... Have a great day, everypony. I'll see you guys around. Bye-bye.